Good morning to you. Welcome again to the Spider's Web. Man, I'm uh really enjoying and I'm really excited about sharing with anyone who's interested, who's tuning into the frequency that I'm in right now of self-discovery and looking at this whole idea of the Spider's Web um, as a very connected process where we're doing multiple things to discover oneself. It's really interesting. I talked about the idea on my first video of compartmentalizing and how that is built out of the idea of focus and um, just managing in one precise way how to do something. A very beneficial way of doing it. And if you need to start there, then please do that. But if you can manage to look in multiple places and see the connectivity between multiple things you're doing, whether it's work or your relationships or whether it's your professional life or your, your personal life, whether it's uh, your relationship with your, with your children or relationship with your, your boss, where you can see all of these things being interconnected, where they may not seem related, but you can see the connectivity and you can take an opportunity to do something in multiple areas, you'll see yourself grow really, really fast. So that's what the channel is going to be about, just about seeing this connectivity between all these different unrelated things and weaving the web, connecting and practicing this self-discovery, this path of self-discovery, which is the goal. The goal is the path. Today I want to talk to you about where I began. I mean... You tell a story, you always start at the very beginning. So I want to share my journey and my perspective. And I hope that my perspective will lean, I guess, shed some light on your perspective. Maybe there'll be some connections you'll see. So we're talking about, we're talking about connectivity. There'll be some things you see connected to your path and your journey that you can really uh, tune into, feel good about, and then feel encouraged about. That's the point of me sharing my perspective, not to teach you or show you, but more so to share what I see. And if you see what I see, then that's great. And if you're curious about what I see, if you want to try it out, that's great. And of course, like Bruce Lee says, if you don't want to use it, just throw it away. I love that idea. So where I started was, um, I believe it was uh, about three or four years ago, um, I was at this point realize that most of my life was done from the mental perspective from my mind my uh my 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 ego trying to to do things um i wasn't uh, as aware of the ego but i was aware that i was feeling tons of anxiety tons of uh self esteem issues uh low self esteem and people will probably be confused and know me. So, Tavante, you're always doing this. You're always doing that. How could that be a result of self-esteem? Fear has a way of motivating you to do a lot of different things. Uh, fear can motivate you to be very productive. You know, a person who suffers with self-esteem is not the person that's always in the bed and can't get out. It's the person that's working 60, 80 hours a week. That That's all they can do is spend their, their time, you know, working. And so we all relate to our difficulties and we're all relating to this on this path of self-discovery, trying to find our individual happiness. We're doing it different ways. And uh, for someone who decides to go rob a bank and someone who, who decides to, you know, uh, work 60 hours and not hang, have time for, for their family, uh, we reward the person who works really hard and we punish the person who decides to be on drugs or to rob a bank. But really, they're just, we're all just finding our own little way of dealing with things. Um, but where I started was, I've always had uh, this voice in my head. Uh, when I was a Christian, I thought the voice was, was God. Uh, uh, but this voice has always spoken to me very clear, very precise about just guiding me. And I've always trusted the voice. I never knew what the voice was until recently until I realized who that voice was, uh, which I will share with in later videos. But the voice 
prompted me to uh, sit on the floor. I was in a, a bedroom of my old house, sit on the floor, and the voice prompted me to uh, cross my knees like I'm sitting right now in the bed. And the voice asked me to do some breathing. And the voice told me that I was going to do breathing, then normally that I would do it. Normally my voice, my breathing would be chest. And the voice was asking me to breathe instead of in my chest, but in my belly. And to breathe the air going in my nose and then going down through my lungs and focusing my energy, my focus on my belly and having that that uh, air build and pretty much puff my belly out and then exhaust my belly of the air by letting it flow out my mouth. And that's what happened. Uh, and I was so amazed at simple breathing like that. What happened was the air started coming in. It started to fill my belly up. I started to let it go. It started to become easy and easy to breathe that way. I noticed that I spent a lot of time breathing in my chest and the breathing was shallow there, but the breathing was way deeper in my belly. The air started to change temperature. It became cooler. It became more relaxing. I, I began to like disappear from where I was sitting. Like my, mm. I was somewhere totally different. My, um, the reality of the physical world around me began to just kind of fall away and my relaxation just kind of overwhelmed me and took over me. The breath, the focusing on the breath as where what happened and that's kind of where I started um, I believe the point of this video is that self-discovery starts with a tuning in to who you are how do you know where you're going and how do you for yourself if you're looking for something outside okay we in order for us to discover who we are we have to take me time okay we have to have some me time time where we're focusing on self not our thoughts that's our ego that's the that's that's a, a picture of the exterior world that's the our experiences that we felt up to this point that's not who we are what's in our head is not who we are who we are is is in the focus of our being and I know that may be difficult for you to comprehend because that's not something you comprehend with your brain. That's something you simply can feel. So, in short, take some time. Take some me time. Take five minutes. Do some breathing. I described it a few minutes ago. Breathe into your nose. Breathe into your belly. Allow it to build and push your belly out. And then compress your belly by breathing out. Okay? Simple breathing. Breathing in. Belly gets up. Builds up. Breathe out your mouth. Breathing in. And breathing out. And what this would do is separate you from your mind, which is your ego. Help you to focus in on who you are, which is your being. Which is not your mind. Self-discovery starts with focusing on who you are. Focusing inward, not outward. Be at peace. Have a wonderful day. See you next time here at the Spire's Web. I like doing this. It's so much fun. See you next time. All right, bye.